Hey, you guys, I'm just jumping on really quick with a quick word. I just got back from running an errand. And before I go inside, I wanted to drop this message. I felt the Holy Spirit drop in my spirit. Are you willing to stand the test of time? And this word is for a specific group of women. This word is for a specific group of men. Are you willing to stand? Are you willing to endure the test of time? And oftentimes God gives us a promise. He speaks a word over our lives, maybe by way of a vision, maybe by way of a dream, or it could just be um, just a verbal word that he speaks over our lives. And when God speaks that word and he gives us that promise, Oftentimes we expect for God to fulfill that promise right then and there. And for some cases, God does. He gives us a word. He speaks that word over our lives and he's ready to perform that word in that particular season. He brings that promise into full manifestation. But in other times, God gives us a word and he does not perform it right then and there, okay? There is a waiting season that we have to go through. There's a preparation season that we have to go through. There's a season of isolation that we have to go through. God has to um, uh, prune us and prepare us and refine us for that particular promise. Um, We are all on different paths. We are all on different journeys. And only God knows where he is leading us. Only God knows what he is preparing us for. And oftentimes we want to see the full picture. Okay, we want to know beginning, middle, and end before we decide to give God our yes. We want to know, okay, God, how long am I going to have to wait? And when God does not respond to us right then and there, we can um, get discouraged, okay? We feel like we don't want to go any longer. We feel like giving up and just throwing in the towel because the waiting is so long, okay? Okay. And God is asking you, are you willing to endure the test of time? See, we try to put time limits on God. We put time restrictions on God to fulfill the promise that he gave us. But we don't know when God is going to fulfill that promise that he gave us. We don't know if it's going to take months. We don't know if it's going to take years. We don't know. And we may never know. But whether God reveals to us how long we have to wait or not, we still have to be prepared to say, Lord, no matter how long it takes, I am willing, I am ready with the strength and the help of the Holy Spirit to endure the test of time. God is testing you by time. He is wanting to see, are you going to continue to trust him? Are you going to continue to take him at his word? Are you going to continue to stand and intercede for whatever it is that God promised that he would do in your life? Will you stand no matter how long it takes? Are you willing to endure the test of time? Because the reality of it is we don't know when God is going to bring into full manifestation the promise that he spoke over our lives. And I know in the beginning of my standing journey, I've been standing for my kingdom marriage for quite some time now. And I've told you guys in previous videos that God revealed to me who my God ordained husband um, is. And I've been standing for him ever since God revealed that to me. And in the beginning, I expected God when he told me right then and there to bring this marriage prophecy into full manifestation. But God was not ready to do that in those seasons. And I'm still waiting on the Lord to make good on his promises. But I've also learned to wait in patience, to wait in expectation of God, being able to move whenever he gets ready to bring it to pass. He can and he will do it. 
And instead of focusing on how long I've been waiting, I've been directing my focus on God. Because it's not about the time. It's about your relationship with the Father. Are you willing to wait no matter what? Are you willing to endure no matter what? No matter how long it takes, do you believe that God is able to do what he said he would do no matter what the situation looks like? Do you believe that God is able to speak one word and turn your circumstances around? Are you willing to endure the test of time? Because you have to make up in your mind right now, women of God, you have to make up in your mind, no matter how long it takes God for you to fulfill this promise, I'm going to stick beside you. No matter how long it takes, I'm not giving up. No matter how long it takes, I'm not drawing back. No matter how long it takes, God, I believe that you are more than able to fulfill all the promises that you spoke over my life. I'm willing to endure the test of time. And I had to ask myself that question. And I had to also answer that question, Rachel, are you willing? What if it takes two years? What if it takes three, four, five, six, seven years? What if it takes 10 years? Before God brings into full manifestation the promise, will you stand or will you go out looking for something else? Will you go out looking for your husband, searching for another man? Or will you wait on the man that God said is your husband? If God said that is your husband, guess what? That is your husband. If God said that that is your wife, guess what? That is your wife. Time does not mean that God is not going to do what he said he's going to do. God is testing you by time to see if you're going to remain faithful. If you're going to remain consistent. If you're going to continue to take his work, take him at his word day after day, moment after moment, week after week, month after month, year after year, season after season, no matter what, Lord, no matter how long it takes, I'm going to take you at your word. Give me the strength, Holy Spirit, to endure the test of time. Because the reality of it is some of you, are still in your waiting. And you may have a long road ahead of you. Some of us are at the end of the road. I believe for myself that I am in the season of manifestation. I've waited for many years for God to bring forth his promise in my life. And I believe in my spirit that I am in the season of manifestation. And you may believe in your spirit that you are in your season of manifestation, but some of you are still in your season of waiting. And God is trying to prove your faith because we can't get there on our own. God has to get us there. He is trying to strengthen our faith and strengthen our trust in him. God is saying, are you willing to stand the test of time? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself that question while you're watching this video and be real with yourself. Are you willing to stand the test of time? No matter how long it takes, God, I won't give up. I love you guys and I'll see you the next time the Lord sends me back with another word. Bye.